Hey guys and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement YOLO version 3 object detection using PyTorch on Windows 10. We'll walk through everything from the requirements to set up all the way to executing the CNN. Now we're not going to go through the theory as I mentioned earlier. This will just be a hands-on practical tutorial to get you up and running. Just be aware that I have not been able to train YOLO version 3 on Windows. But this turned out to be a blessing in disguise, as I now use a new workflow called Supervisely. I will show you how to use this new workflow for annotation, to training, as well as data augmentation. But for now, let's get started with the execution of YOLO version 3. AI developers can earn over 115,000 US dollars per year. To learn more AI and deep learning secrets, check out the links down below to gain access to our upcoming full object detection course we will learn how to train and infer various object detection algorithms such as YOLO version 3, SSD, and faster RCNN. Also, we will be launching a course very soon on how to implement object detection on a Raspberry Pi using a Movidis Neural Compute Stick, which is essentially an AI chip that can accelerate your deep learning applications. Okay, so let's look at the requirements. First of all, we will need Anaconda. We're going to have Python 3.1 for Windows 10. We will also need our Conda environment. So I make things quite easy for you. You can basically just clone my Conda environment and you'll have all the packages that you need to run PyTorch and YOLO version 3. Make sure that you have an NVIDIA graphics card. I recommend a GTX 1050 or higher. You'll also need CUDA Toolkit version 9 and CU DNN version 7.05. Just know that CUDA and CU DNN can be installed via Anaconda. But if you choose to install them the old school method, then I'll give you the following links. Okay, so let's get started with step 1. Okay, so first, head over to my GitHub repository, range gt 9 We're gonna go to Repositories, YOLO v3 Workflow. Make sure to clone and download this repo. And head over to YOLO v3 Execute. The link to this repo will be in the links down below. So first step is to install Anaconda. Open link in new window and download Python 3.7 and make sure you have the 64-bit version. I already have it downloaded and installed. So I'm just going to cancel this download now. Okay, so pause this video and once you've done downloading and installing Anaconda, we can continue. Let's open up our YOLO version 3. Zip. Go over here and find YOLO.YML. Copy this into another directory. We're going to put it in a directory that's easy to find. So I'm going to put it in C, YOLO and YOLO.YML. Okay, so let's open up Anaconda prompt. Let's change our directory to the one that we stored our YML CD over there. And then we can copy this command to create our new Conda environment. Copy and paste. And enter. This will take a while to install, so you can grab a cup of coffee in the meantime. So while that is busy installing, let's go ahead and install CUDA Toolkit 9 in the meantime. Go over to this link over here. Click Windows, 8664, Windows 10, and EXE. You can download the base installer. And then CU DNN also. Open this link in new window. Go over to download 7.05 for CUDA 9, December 5. Let's just download CU DNN library for Windows 10. Just make sure that you've logged in or you've joined up to the membership. The membership is free. So I already have my account, so I'm just going to log in. And CUDNN will start to download. Okay, so pause this video and install CUDA 9 in the meantime. Okay, so once you've installed CUDA and you've downloaded CUDNN, this CUDA folder over here, make sure you copy and paste it over here in C drive. Now we need to link it in our environmental. Go to start, in V, we're going to go to path, edit, and Click new. Let's add in these parts. That. Click new. Paste. Now this is assuming that you've installed it in this exact directory. If you have installed it in a different directory, make sure that the directory corresponds to this. Click OK. Okay, so then CUDA should be installed. If you have problems installing CUDA, then you can install it via Anaconda. You can do this by going over here to Anaconda and typing this command into Anaconda prompt. 
So you can install the SD and you can go to toolkit. And then for CUDNN, you can do the same for Conda install dash C Anaconda CUDNN. Okay, now back to our Anaconda prompt. We can see that our Conda environment YOLO version 3 has been installed. Let's activate it. Okay, so we're going to go to Conda activate YOLO. Clone and download, copy this link. And in the same folder, you can choose any folder that you want, but we're gonna get clone it here. Get clone. Okay, and then next we need to download the weights. Click on this link. This will download the YOLO version 3 weights from the PG Ready website. Once the YOLO v3 weights have been downloaded, let's copy and paste it into the same folder. See YOLO PyTorch, paste it over here. Okay. Okay, so we've downloaded the weights. Step 3, let's run the demo. Okay, so we already cloned the directory and we've changed our Anaconda prompt to that directory. Next, we need to download any test video. It can be mp4 or .avi. So I already have a video. I downloaded it and renamed it as video.mp4. Let's cut. Put that into the folder. Back in Anaconda prompt. We are in that folder. And let's run the demo. Copy this command. So now the moment of truth. Paste. Make sure that this file name corresponds to your file name and press enter. And there you have it. You can see that our YOLO version 3 is working and it's detecting quite a bit. Really impressive. Now it's running a bit slow because there's a lot of things to detect. And also this is a high resolution video. Also the accuracy of this network is quite good. You can try it now with different types of video. If you want to take things a bit further, you can edit this video underscore demo dot by. As you can see that we're using OpenCV and you can manipulate this to whatever you want it to be. And lastly, if you want to run the demo on a webcam, make sure you have your webcam connected and run this command python cam underscore demo dot by. Let's copy. Let's run this command. And if you get this error for im underscore dim, it's not defined. Open up cam demo over here and uncomment this line at 119. Save. Let's run it again. Okay, and there we have it. This is the second keyboard, mouse. cell phone and it's doing quite well at 19 frames per second okay that is it from me thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture to learn more ai and deep learning secrets check out the links down below to gain access to our upcoming full object detection course where you'll learn how to train and infer various object detection algorithms such as yolo version 3 ssd and faster rcnn also, we'll be launching a course very soon on how to implement object detection on a Raspberry Pi using a Movidius Neural Compute Stick, which is essentially an AI chip that can accelerate your deep learning applications. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell icon to get the latest cutting-edge video tutorials straight to your inbox. To gain access to our exclusive advanced deep learning secrets, please support us on Patreon and you will learn the state-of-the-art in AI and AR. 
We are also now on Discord if you'd like to interact with us or if you have any questions. Links are all down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture.